This is one that my cousin Greg Hooven used to sing a lot. He was the first uh, fiddler back uh, about, he, they started in about 1986 with uh, this particular band, the New Ballard's Branch Bog Trotters. And uh, Greg used to sing this one and it always makes me think of him when I sing it. So it's called the Red Rocking Chair.
somebody else and I know you got a lot of good music in store tonight so just hang tight uh, we'll, we'll quit uh, pestering you here just in a second we're going to play you one here called the polecat blues tell you who the rest of these folks up here are. Over here on the guitar, usually we have uh, Mr. Dennis Hall with us. He's the normal band leader, but uh, he took a trip out west and went deer hunting, so he ain't here tonight. And we got my cousin Eric Hill over here on the guitar tonight. And we also have a substitute for the banjo tonight, too. Uh, Josh couldn't make it tonight, and so we proud to have Jared Boyd on the banjo tonight. So. Yeah, we're going to finish up here with uh, one. We'll start this first one off here called Hell Among the Yearlings.
We are the Blue Ridge Broadcasters, <laughs> and we're glad y'all could make it out tonight. We're going to play you North Carolina Breakdown. It's North Carolina Breakdown from our favorite Tennessean, well, one of our favorite Tennesseans, Arthur Smith. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of favorite Tennesseans. see so many dancers out there tonight. Mm -hmm. so we'll play a classic old string band number that was, a bunch of different people sort of did versions of this in the 1920s and this is our version of it. Some uh, words of wisdom, don't get trouble in mind. We admonish you tonight wherever you are, looking out on some snowy field. Don't get trouble in mind. It might feel lonely right now. You might be watching the, those bits of snow get blown off of your off of your roof and feel like you're just one of those little little snowflakes out there all alone. But look out there. There's a lot more snowflakes, and they all come together, and they make the ground white. Wait, what are we playing? Don't get trouble in mind. <laughs> And visions of snow. <laughs> it it did paint quite a, quite a picture. I like to do word pictures. Mm -hmm. Let's go on. Well, what my mammy told me, it surely comes to pass. Drinking and gambling, gonna be my real last. Don't get trouble in mind, don't get trouble in mind. Don't get trouble in mind, don't get trouble in mind 
I guess Joe's been up to visit a guy named Clyde Davenport, who's an old fiddler who lives in Monticello, Kentucky. You might be tempted to call it Monticello here in Virginia, but in Kentucky they call it Monticello. And Clyde's a fiddler who, he's 94 or 5 now, and learned to play from his father and from the folks who lived around in that community. And one of the groups that he heard was an old man named Blind Dick Burnett, spelled Burnett. Actually, I didn't spell it, I just said it, but most people would say Burnett, but it's Dick Burnett. And it, he was an old man who had been shot in the face and lost his, uh, lost his eyesight. And so he made his living by singing on the street and would kind of play and sing and wrote songs. And uh, folks would give him a little change, and that was kind of how he made his way through life after he lost his eyesight. And he took along a young, a young man named uh, Leonard Rutherford, who he taught how to fiddle. And Leonard became this really smooth fiddler. And they recorded back in the 20s. And Clyde Davenport, this fellow that we've hung out with, would hear them playing at the courthouse. And Clyde, he swears that he has never tried to learn a tune in his life. They just came to him. And so he would just walk by them and absorb every bit of musical uh, knowledge that those guys had. That's what he says. And it's actually kind of true. But we've An amazing both, memory. So many tunes and so many songs in that head. Hundreds of tunes. And we've both spent time across from him, you know, trying to make our bows move in the same way that he does. And he's not, um, not always the... And trying to not to let his humor get the best of us. Yeah. But, uh... Moral not. In a bit. <laughs> 
This is one of his his songs in a uh, Burnett and Rutherford song. It's called uh, All Night Long. swap instruments here and I'm going to grab the uh, fit. Wait, I'm grabbing the banjo now. I'm sorry. And she's going to pick up the uh, that was, that was she's like... picking up the uh, fiddle and she's going to play a classic, uh, we call it a chestnut. Arkansas Traveler, except it's not going to be in the familiar key for those of you out there who know and love old time music of D. It will not be in the key of D. I will say that once more. It's going to be in the key of C. It might blow your mind. She plays, she might plays it really well. Mind. Thank you. 
some traveling music right there. That's pretty fun. Here's a fiddle tune I heard from John Hartford. It's called Birdie. <laughs> play a good old North Carolina tune called Rockingham Cindy. Are we ready? We're ready.
That's uh, Emily Shad playing the fiddle there. And over to her right is uh, Doug. Some people in Japan think that Doug is a giant. If you're just listening out there, this Doug is indeed seven foot three inches tall. Which doesn't just doesn't quite meet the criteria for a giant. Just barely under Andre the Giant's seven foot six status, but Doug is an excellent guitar player. Some people call him the Carpenter, <laughs> but we just call him Doug Sharkey. And then <laughs> our, our Floyd County native. Is hiding from me. I'm Joe. not a native. I'm a transplant. A transplant. But I am a native Virginian. He's a native Virginian, ladies and gentlemen. Joe, bass, Dejarnet, middle name bass. And then we have the one, the only, Mr. Joseph DiCosimo on the banjo. Cannot be described in any way. <laughs> <laughs> you know.
Thank you all very much. Did anybody go sleigh riding today? Anyone? No? Anyone? Yeah. yeah. Sledding? Oh, sweet. Jazz down the driveway. Nice. Uh, really, really, really fast. I mean, oh, sleigh riding, I call it sledding. I don't know. Why do you call it sleigh riding? Because we're northerners. Is that really what? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I call it, too. Yeah. Should we poll, like, who calls it sledding? I don't call it sleigh riding. Uh, who calls it sleigh riding? Santa Claus. <laughs> Santa Claus. <laughs> He's a northerner, too. On him. No kidding. Surprise they don't call me the plumber. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't. Oh, I did. That was for you. That was good. <laughs> All good?
pleasure and parting his dream about a false hearted lover is worse than a thief. A thief will but rob you and take what you say, but a false hearted lover send you to your grave. I'm troubled, I'm troubled, I'm troubled in mind. If trouble twisty little tune from West Virginia for you. It's called Head of the Creek.
They're made to wear. <laughs> in Are fact, they good in the snow? they're good in the snow. And if, if you don't have some golden slippers, get down here to the uh, Floyd store and get you some uh, golden slippers now over there in the uh, clothing section. The golden slippers here at the country store actually come with jingle taps on them for uh, <laughs> flat foot footing, you know. Pre installed. So Pre installed. Mm -hmm. Pretty fast. Well, do it with, okay. comes from the great state of Illinois, actually a tune, rather, and uh, like from our uh, um, dear uh, friend of the late, great um, Gary Harrison. Um, he made a record maybe 25 years ago called Red Prairie Dawn. Red Harry Prawn? Red Harry Prawn. No, uh, Red Prairie Dawn, it's, it's one of our favorite um, old-time 
fiddle records out there, uh, some traditional Illinois uh, tunes on it and some that, that Gary wrote himself, and it's all incredible music. The backup uh, band is incredible. They have this way of um, the tempos of the tunes are really fast, but when you listen to it, it just feels right and in the pocket, and it's great dance music, and it's just a really magical recording. So, Yeah, Gary was a really fabulous musician, but he also wrote some of the best new tunes out there, and some, just some of my very favorites. They sound old, and um, they also sound just a little bit unusual. So this one we're going to play for you is called Hey Mao, and um, I never knew before I learned this tune, but um, but the Hey Mao is the, um, the, like the hay part of the barn in the top where you keep the hay, and now I know that. <laughs>
Yeah, we were really. I, I, okay. All right, we'll play. Uh, we'll play another tune from Clyde. He's the fiddler we were telling you about before from uh, from Kentucky, and uh, this is a, a a tune that he called Sally in the Garden, and uh, it's a kind of a, a different version of a really common tune called Fire in the Mountain. I would say, or in the Fire in the Mountain family. <laughs> probably is a good idea to just let a person fall on the ice and snow instead of trying to catch them because then two people will be hurt it's sort of one of those things where like you might as well just let them go and then help them once they're on the ground pick them up yeah then you could pick them up <laughs> okay okay all right then <laughs> i think that's actually what this song is about now that i think about the so let, we'll let you decide you want to awesome. kick it off you're starting it <laughs> really yeah Really?
Thank you.